Alright, so welcome back once again to Greene County, Pennsylvania, all the way in the southwest part of the state. We're continuing our uh, covered bridge tour of Greene County. Headed to our next one. We were just were at Carmichael's Covered Bridge, and now we're looking for Lippincott Covered Bridge. I think I called it Lippincott. It's also referred to as the Cox Farm Covered Bridge. This one has a different history to it. We'll talk about that when we get there. We are looking for a Kennel Road, which should be on our left. All the way up here. Still looking for Kennel Road. I feel like it should be here. It always feels like that. Oh, I see a crossroad sign up here, so this might be it. It should be visible from. This is Route 221. I think we're near the town of Lippincott, it's called. Oh, yes. Is that. No, that's not it. Is that it down there? Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it way down there past that building. All right, so I'll just leave you on because we'll probably drive across it first and then find a place to park. Yep, here it is. The Lippincott Covered Bridge, or Cox Farm. Almost feels like someone's private driveway. All right, there you go. All right, I gotta find a place to turn around. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We got the bridge behind us. On the name, they call it the Cox Farm Covered Bridge on the bridge. Sound like someone's phone's ringing. Well, we'll so we'll get and call, call it that even here in the video. Not sure what that noise is. Anyway, we'll just have to deal with it. Yeah, erected in 1940. My notes said 1943. Rebuilt in 2013. Yeah, 1940 or 1943, that seems awful late to rebuild a covered bridge. But there's a reason why. If those dates should be familiar. Those were the war years, World War II. So this bridge was built during World War II when there was a shortage of metal. Most of the metal was being used for the war effort. So they built a bridge out of wood, just like in the olden times. So that's the deal with it. I think it's about 31 feet long, so it's, it might be the shortest one we do, I think. I think, maybe, huh? At least we'll be done today. We have one more covered bridge yet. But we have a slightly different design here. We don't have a queen post for this one. We just have a simple king post. But this one's so short, it doesn't really need one. It has a lot of these uprights. A little bit different. So it's nice to see something. I like the queen post, but it's something nice. It's good to see something other than the queen post, too. But yeah, it was completely rebuilt in 2013. It's not, maybe it was in bad shape, but. So I'm guessing a lot of this, this all looks like newer wood. All of it does, actually. I'm not sure if there's anything original to this one. All right, well, we gotta try and get a side view of it. Maybe we'll, this will work over here. Yeah, I think so. That'll work. All right, not sure how if we can get down to the bottom or not. It's pretty steep. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to make my way down that part, but anyway. I'm guessing there are steel beams underneath there since it was rebuilt in 2013. We'll just let it go at that. Even the abutments look new. More modern. I mean, it's made to look old, but it has that newer look to it. All right, the Cox Farm Covered Bridge. But sometimes it is called the Lippincott or Lippincott Covered Bridge, too. Make our way across again. It's a cute little thing. It's sturdy though. Doesn't have that rickety feel. Maybe we'll try again to view it from view of it from over here, too. Get it from this side. Slightly different perspective. Not sure which one I'll use. Yeah, so it's a nice little short cover bridge, but short cover bridges make for short videos. Just might be the shortest one I've ever done. I know there was one in Lan over in Lancaster County that we did, it was really short, but this one might be the shortest. All right, we'll take one more look and then we'll go. So one last look at the Cox Farm Bridge. Built on the war years. Nice to see a king post. <laughs> 
So that'll be it for this one, folks. I've got one more covered bridge to do in our little series here. It's the Scott Covered Bridge, about half an hour away. We're going to be making our way to the other side of Greene County, again, the west side. And then where my, I'll be camping tonight, once again, at Ryerson Station State Park. So hopefully I'll see you there at Scott's Covered Bridge.